Mum is always telling Sienna off for listening to Taylor Swift. I'm just going to shake, 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 Taylor, shake. why aren't you getting on with your work? So we're living a day in the life of Taylor Swift to convince our mum to be a Swifty. You know what, I'm going to go with her. But I'm so excited. Comment down below if you're a Swifty. Also, guys, keep your eye out for a Sephora giveaway in this video. So I've been looking up loads of Taylor Swift interviews, and I think I have all of the juicy details about her life for this Ooh. challenge. So the first thing she does when she wakes up is cuddle her three cats. Awesome. Olivia Benson, Mary Meredith Grey and Benjamin Button. Come on, Mum, look how cute Aww. is that? Imagine she just wakes it. up and cuddles her cat. That is a really cute name, Benjamin Button. But when I wake up, because me and Taylor Swift are actually the same age for this fam. When I wake up, I have to deal with children. But we don't have any cats to cuddle, so today we're just going to cuddle Karma. Oh, so cute. We're all in our workout clothes because the next thing that Taylor Swift does is training for her tour. So she actually has to do a three hour long show wow. and she has to be dancing cool. and singing the whole time on stage. So to practice, what she does is go on the treadmill and sing songs, like super full out belting. So that's what oh, we need wow. to try and do now. We're going to be running on the spot while singing karaoke. And I I what do you think of that workout, mum? Uh, can I just say something for this fam? What on earth was that? What was that that just happened? I say it's gonna be alright. Like singing. This yeah, thing. yeah. I'm so ashamed. I've got to admit, Taylor Swift is a really, really good singer, but I'm still not gonna be a Swifty. Now we're gonna get dressed, and of course we're gonna get dressed into Taylor Swift outfit. I actually have some new clothes for you, Sienna. Ooh. So I hope you like these. Ooh, this is your Taylor this? Swift top. I feel like this is very Taylor Swift. I see the front though. Oh, that's, that's what makes the Taylor Swift sparkle. Yeah. Oh, and the that's pearls so on pretty. It. I feel like she loves ruffles. She loves anything yeah. super extra, bright colors. And sparkly. Sparkly and yeah. cowboy boots. Ooh. So I was thinking that you could actually have my cowboy boots, my blue ones. Okay. So nice. Wear it with a skirt and then look, I also got you this necklace. Oh, that's super Taylor Swift too. Oh, that's really nice. And Thank then you. for Karma, I saw you have this dress, bright pink, gold, sparkly. And then I thought you could wear it with your sparkly pumps. You're welcome. Then I actually have something for you too, Mum. But look what okay. I'm gonna wear, guys. I'm gonna wear this black jumper, which has got all like tassels on it. I feel oh, like yeah. it's definitely very Taylor Swift. I also got myself this back. Which I feel oh, like is something I would never cool. normally wear, but I do feel like I saw this and I was like, that's Taylor Swift. And for Mum, I don't know what you're gonna think about this because it's definitely okay. out of your comfort zone. But look how cool this dress is. It's sparkly, it's tersely, and you can wear it with like yeah. some boots, it'll look really nice, and your uh, denim jacket. I mean, I do like, her style is really girly and feminine, and I yeah. do like that, but I wouldn't necessarily wear everything. Sometimes I feel like her style is kind of like what an eight-year-old would pick, randomly. Not in a nasty way, like everyone's got a unique style. Do you know what, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna do gonna it, yeah. Really I'm nice gonna enough. channel my inner tailor, but I'm not gonna be a Swifty yet. Now let's all get into our outfits. Go on, I just wanna see what you guys look like. Now it's time for the tailor Swift catwalk. I'm gonna say I'm really liking the Western cowboy vibe of these. I know. Look, I like it's my so cool. Too. I love it. I love it's it. Very different. Look at you girls. I'm so happy I get to wear cowboy boots. Yeah, looks so cool. I love the necklace. It's suits Yeah, me too. I really like it. You've gone for a bit of a darker vibe. I know. Taylor's darker no, vibe. No, she does mix it up between like bright light colors and like dark colors. And yeah, Karma, let me look at you. Oh, pink and sparkly. Taylor Swift would love you, wouldn't she? She'd love that outfit. I've got to say, I'm really happy that I'm getting to wear something different today. Do you know what? I'm going to go with it. I'm going to do it, gonna yeah. Really I kind of take it back what I said. Like, I, I think her style is really, really cool and it makes me feel really bright and cheerful. So, but I'm still not going to be a Swifty. Once she gets dressed, she's not finished getting ready. She needs to put her makeup on and do her hair. So something which is very iconic to Taylor Swift is she always wears red lipstick, Mum. Yeah. So we all have to wear red lipstick. I don't know uh, about this. Fist fan, what do you think? I, I don't like, like red lipstick. I feel like Karma and Sienna especially are too young to wear red lipstick. Yeah. But I'm not going to be a party people. I'm going to let them wear red lipstick just for this. And also, I found that I've stopped wearing red lipstick in my 30s just because I feel like it gives me too much of like a mature look but oh what did you say Carl? I wear pink lipstick but Taylor Swift wears red Carl. yeah <laughs> yeah so I feel like I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna trust that Taylor Swift knows what she's talking about and let's 
All right, who's got the red lipsticks then? I got one. Lip I've got some. So we're all cramped up in my bathroom and Mia's about to put lip liner and lipstick on me in like the darkest red possible. Literally, and this does not us. come off by the way. <laughs> I need you to just relax your lips. Don't laugh. I love Kama's face. <laughs> I don't know what Daddy Fizz is gonna be saying about this Fizz fam. I don't think he's gonna like it. It looks very bold, I've got to say that. Rub. Whoa, that is bold. And then, well, I think once we add this on, it'll look a bit better as well. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that's <laughs> red. No, you have rub them together, but like sort of try and get it so it rubs. I feel like she needs more on her lips. No, no I don't. Be really careful with this stuff, it will like spread look all over Look at me, Taylor. Face. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, no, it's really only uh, teeth. Put it on me now. Okay. Uh, Karma's done. Oh no. By the way, if you've noticed Karma's friend, she actually gave herself a haircut yesterday without my permission. Yeah, you look very cool. Very interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's actually easier to apply it to her lips because they're so small. Rub your lips together. What do you think, Karma? It's lovely. <laughs> oh. Are you ready for this fizz fam? Oh my oh, gosh. This is so bad, ready? You can tell I'm not used to putting red lipstick on. I've got it on oh so God. bad. I do not look good. No, I think it suits your blue eyes. No, I don't think you so. You actually look I really look good. ridiculous. I look no. like a clown. Right, Fizz fam, I can't believe this. I'm not used to doing this makeup on myself. I'm going to stick at it. I'm going to oh, wear it today, okay? I'm going to get out of my comfort cute. zone. But also, guys, talking about makeup, congratulations to Racina <laughs> for winning our first Sephora giveaway. For those who didn't win this time, we're going to be doing another huge Sephora giveaway, and all you've got to do is add us on snapchat for a chance to win Ooh. so what's next on the taylor swift's agenda of the day mia it is desayuno we're gonna have yeah. breakfast Ooh. in interviews taylor swift says that she likes to have a balanced diet where on the weekend she has some junk food and on the weekdays she eats really clean so it is a weekday so we don't get any junk food but what Aww. she said she mostly eats is salad sandwiches and yogurt so for Sal breakfast sandwiches. No, no, salad, salad sandwiches, sandwiches, and, and yogurt. yogurt. Anyway, yeah. that's not what we're having yeah. for breakfast. We're gonna have some yogurt, and I thought we Ooh. could add some berries to it. Does Ooh. that sound good, guys? Yeah, that sounds nice. Ready? Look, we've got some yummy coconut yogurt. Ooh, that looks nice. And then we have got loads of berries. We've got these delicious wow. berries. These actually smell so good. That smells like I love a berries. You know what I mean? It smells like a perfume. Yum. Can I just say something? Fizz fam, doesn't Mia just look so cool? Now she's dressed like Taylor Swift. She's actually looking like Taylor Swift. It matches my boots. I just realized my boots are my lips match. I know you yeah, look so that good. Is cool. My mouth okay, is literally now salivating right now. I'm so oh. excited for this. Oh, nice thick creamy coconut yogurt. I'll get a little bit more. Oh look, we've got <gasps> raspberries and strawberries. It looks so pink. Oh, that does. It looks, it looks so colourful. Or red. It? It feels like spring. Hey. The strawberries are matching my lipstick. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you were gonna eat that whole bowl. So oh. I haven't had any yet. It definitely isn't the usual kind of breakfast I'd have. I feel like this is more of a snack than a proper breakfast, but I think it's actually quite nice. It's very fresh and fruity. I was gonna say it feels like a dessert. Yeah, I need something a bit more filling for breakfast. But do you know what, girls? I was thinking, I do really like the fact that Taylor Swift does eat something which is nutritious, like yogurt is obviously good for you, and then having the berries with it. So I do quite like that she's like starting the day off on a good note and it's not like a donut or something. I do really like Taylor Swift breakfast but i feel like i would like a donut for breakfast <laughs> ah, she would like a donut yeah we're now in a cafe because the next thing that Taylor Swift does, she either goes to the studio and records some new music for us, or she goes to a cafe with her best friend, Selena Gomez. Can you imagine being best friends with Selena Gomez? I know, I'm that so sounds jelly. incredible. <laughs> her favorite cafe is this little cafe in Nashville which serves organic coffee and she always gets a caramel latte. So that is what we've done. We've come to a little fancy, unique cafe and got caramel latte. Um, can I just say it's a decaf? Mm. Ready? Mm. What do you think, Karma? Now, I can just imagine when she's in the cafe with Selena Gomez, what are they going to talk about? Boys. Boys. And Taylor Swift has actually had quite a few boyfriends. I know that she dated Zac Efron and he's actually like one of my I know crushes, dated, so I'm a bit jelly of that. Did, she dated Harry Styles. Yeah, and what's his name? Ed Sheeran. Oh, yeah. Do you know who she dated, Karma? She actually has made a song called Karma, did you know that? 
Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, also Calvin Harris. <gasps> yeah, and I oh. swear, you know, like the Jonas Brothers, like one yeah. of them. This actually tastes mm. so good, though. I'm very glad that we got a decaf because I cannot drink real coffee. Yeah, I probably end up going very crazy, but it's really nice. I like it a lot more with the caramel in it in comparison to a normal coffee. I think it tastes really sweet. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, though, Mum? It's really, really sweet. I love it. Taylor, you do have good taste. Even though I normally drink matcha, I do think this tastes really, really good. But can I just say, girls, on the way here, everybody kept staring at us. It became one of those videos where we were like dressed up something for the day. I feel yeah. like people are either looking at us, wondering where the Taylor Swift concert is, where we're going, or they actually thought we were some kind of celebrity. I think that extra like added element of that we've all got this matching bright red lipstick on definitely didn't help. I know, yeah. I feel like we've got two different things and we've added them together and made it very embarrassing, but it's kind of fun to be honest. We're very different. Taylor Swift is actually a really successful businesswoman, so she obviously goes to a lot of business meetings. So we're actually now going to be having a business meeting in the living room. Our manager's waiting for us. Yeah. Come in. Hi, sir. You've got to give me a thousand concerts this year. Okay, and how do we do that? How is that possible? I don't care. Now immediately do what I say. Yes, ma'am. Okay. One thousand. Give me. All of your money now. Okay. Delivery time. So, of course, like I said earlier, Taylor Swift loves sandwiches. So we have Joe and the Woo! Juice sandwiches. Yay. Here you go, Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. Here you go, Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. Here you go, Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. I love how these are pink. I just love pink. Okay, yeah. let's try so it. So does Taylor. Mmm. That's so satisfying, like opening the box like that. It's got pesto in it and tomato and lettuce mm. and avocado. Mm. And does yeah. it have salad in it? Because she has the salad sandwiches, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It does actually have salad in it. It's a salad sandwich. So Taylor Swift actually loves to do baking. So we're going to be making some sugar cookies. Not just any sugar cookies. Chai, Chai sugar, sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. So, the first ingredient is butter. Sienna just put it on the radiator because it needs Let's softening. Let's see what it's like. Ma'am? We need to turn the oven on. We mustn't forget that too. Ingredient one is butter. It's actually meant to be unsalted, but Sienna just licked it and said that I didn't salted. lick it. Well, how do you know that it's salted? Well, I dipped my finger in it and tried it. I didn't go and lick the whole block. Oh. Yeah, this is vegan butter, by the way, guys. Is Taylor Swift a veggie or a vegan? Not that I know no. of, no. Now we need to get white sugar and we need two tablespoons of this actually. One, two, brown sugar. Now we need one half a cup of this. Let me do it. Okay, but I'm just gonna put my hands on just in case. So we want some cooking. Now we add two and a half tablespoons, oh, tablespoons of milk. Now we add in the flour. And the most important part is the dry spice, so I've just put some of that in there, and then now we're going to mix it all up. Mm. Oh, does that smell good? It, smells it doesn't look like there's that much cookie there, though, to be honest. No, I I'm feel like that would make three cookies. I well, hate that when recipes do that. It's because they've been eating it all. I haven't made any. Eating. Karma was eating it. And now I'm gonna cut a cookie out. Got a nice little heart cut, haven't we? I think Taylor would improve, approve of those. Yeah. We'll just fix it. There we oh, go. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I see what you did there, Mum. we're being really naughty Swifties because we've just stolen some cookie dough, haven't we? Yeah. Thank you. Wow, they're looking really good, Taylors. Mia? You know what we could do? We could get like a little pic and then write like the names of all the boys. Should we actually? And then see how it comes out. We've got uh, cake picks. I was kind of joking. Oh, guess what cake picks they are. This is a sign. Harry, these are so hard to write with. Look how cute these are. Just pop them in the oven. Hopefully the hearts don't break. They're all done now. Oh, they you can still see it. Well, they smell good, don't mm, they? They do. Yeah, taste test time. Now I need to see if I will be a Swifty. Maybe this will be it. If I was a Swifty, if I was actually Taylor, I would definitely choose Zach. Oi, that's the one I wanted. Mm. Mm. Who are you choosing? Who's that? Harry. Harry. Oh, oh I guess I'll have Travis. <laughs> Taylor loves to connect with her fans and she often does Q&A. So I asked mum to post a Snapchat and ask you guys to give us questions. Do you want to have a look? What are some mm -hmm. of the questions from the Fizz fam? Also guys, don't forget that we're new to Snapchat and we're family Fizz Real. So make sure to add us on Snap 
for a chance for you to win the Sephora giveaway. And we've got some really good questions here. We've got one by Kayla. How did you all become into YouTube? We started making YouTube videos a long, long time ago because basically we used to do blogging and it was easier to put a video onto a blog if it was from YouTube. So that's kind of like a weird coincidence that we ended up like making YouTube videos just to put on our blog. But yeah, that's how we started doing it and loads of you guys started watching them and we were like making YouTube videos way more fun than writing a blog. But it used to be when it was just Sienna and Mia and me and yeah. Darren and now oh, no. we've got Cameron and Curry in the crew too and it's one of the best things that you could ever do like in our opinion. Like we love it so much. It's like the dream job and we get to all be together as a family, travel the world and we know, met I so many it. of you like the Fizz Fam is an amazing community so thank you so much. Fizz Fam for just being the Fizz Fam. <laughs> We've got another question from Paige. Thinking of getting any pets and favorite family memory. Yes, Ooh. I really want to get a Pomeranian, which is a type Me of dog. Me too. And they're just so adorable. I want to get a little tiny whipper. I just want a fluffy dog that's really cute. Yeah, me too. I want one of those types of dog, really fluffy white oh, fur. So cool. I think she wants like a Maltipoo. Yeah, a Maltese. Yeah. A Maltese yeah. yeah, but Senna's been making so many plans on her vision board, which we actually did share on Snapchat as well. Of she, my dream dog. Yeah, she's it's, got it on I her. feel like I don't really mind what kind of dog it is, as long as it's fluffy and cute and I can cuddle up with it, but ideally a Pomeranian. So we've been talking about it for a long time, and like Senna really does like German um, Shepherds or Alsatians, and she also loves Huskies. Yeah, well, but I kind of they're kind of super, big dogs, aren't yeah. they? A big dog is like even more of a commitment. Like a dog is a commitment either way, but a big dog's like extra. But we have definitely been talking about getting a dog for fam, and th that probably will be happening at some point this year. Maybe, maybe if I don't change my mind. Oh, what's your favorite family memory, Karma? I don't know. How about when we go to the beach? I know that's probably one of my favorites. Yeah. I was to just going to say. Anytime we travel, it's the best. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, that, I was gonna say that too. Like one of the times we've been on holiday, I was gonna say like China and that, I but like then Carmen Koa weren't there. Yeah. I like going to Tenerife. Oh, oh Tenerife. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's really fun. Amy Lee says, "How tall are you all?" I'm six foot five. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm five foot. And I'm four foot eight. Full stop. Hang on a minute. How tall is actually Taylor? Because that's how tall we should be, so we are. I don't know. I feel like she's going to be on the tall side, but I feel like yeah. I always think everyone's going to be on the tall side. I don't know how tall she is. How Comment tall? Down yeah. How tall is yeah, Taylor? I'm, I'm yeah, actually that's five a good foot fact. four. I'm five four. I don't know how tall Karma is, but actually, funny fact is, whenever we see you guys in real life, you come up to us in like a shop on the street. You're always like, "Wow, you guys are so much smaller." Yeah, like, we I are always, yeah, short, yeah, aren't we? yeah. Darren's not short though. I I saw like on this fan account or this fan page, he's five foot seven, but he's actually six foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I can't imagine like Dad being short. I know. Do you know what? Weird. I love his height, and I don't think I could. I don't know if I could date someone or marry someone who's five foot seven. I don't know why. I know that's like my own problem and insecurity, but I I like his height. So. Hi. 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 What do you think of? Well, what oh, we like? Oh, your outfit. Look at Sienna. <laughs> oh, well, Calvary. Calvary. Oh, I'm literally reading a book about Texas. You've got your Texas boots on. Do you know where, yeah. who we are today? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Yeah. yeah. Good By guess. the way, I was getting a magazine for Coa from WH Smith, and Taylor Swift is so popular. Of there's course a, there's she is. actual magazine. There's like Swifties magazine. Of course there is. Yeah. We, we are amazing. Yeah. I am. There's a whole, like, a load of magazines about me. <laughs> right, so what's next on the agenda, Taylor? It is dinner time and we are going to be having... Of course... Salad! Salad! salad. The Yay. only other thing she eats that we haven't eaten yet. It's not a salad sandwich, Mum. Although I did see that there was a salad sandwich that we could order. <laughs> but what? I didn't. I just got us a salad. No! So this actually looks really delicious. Okay. Yeah, it does. Okay, it guys. doesn't look as bad as I thought it would be. I honestly thought we'd be having just pure spinach for dinner, which doesn't what, sound very just exciting. Just eat salad? Yeah. yeah. Salad? Sandwiches and yogurt. And salad. And also salad sandwiches. Okay, I'm sure she eats more than that, but yeah. On the weekdays, on weekdays, on the weekends, then she has drunk. But she needs to, we need to support ourselves. We're doing 100 concerts a year, aren't we, Carmen? What, so you're just gonna have some leaves to do 100 concerts a year? Yeah, Look, that's exactly. got sweet potato on it. It's not just leaves, it's got sweet potato, avocado, lots of different types of leaves. Okay, it's got enough. olives, it's got pickles, it's got tomatoes, sweet it's got corn. roasted sweet corn. My yeah. favorite. I mean, Taylor, we're forgetting what's that going on here. That looks reasonable, actually. What? That's not Dad, that's Zach. Huh? That's Zach. Is there not any and you're Harry. You're right, Harry. Harry. Harry.
Harry's still getting over his haircut, what Karma gave him. Oh yeah, we did mention that. It wasn't just Karma that got the haircut, by the way. No, Koa got it the worst. Oh. I must say, I really did like Taylor Swift's breakfast. However, I don't think it was very good for a breakfast. But this, for a dinner, I actually really like. Maybe it just needs like some rice with it or something. Taylor's, yeah. I've got something to tell you. I yeah. actually always have been a Swifty. What? I know. Yeah. But I feel like Taylor Swift is amazing because not only she is she a talented yeah. songwriter, singer, but also she just goes to show it doesn't matter what your age is and you can be super popular and successful and just pretty amazing. So the only reason I just said that I wasn't a Swiftie is because I just want you to get on with your work. <laughs> okay, I will. I've got nothing against Got Swifties. Balance. Also, don't forget to comment down below, Fizz Fam, if you are a Swiftie too and what you love about Taylor Swift. Bye! Bye! Bye.